Music Business What Is This is a podcast that focuses on the ever-changing music industry and presents issues and concerns that the average and above average musician has or will encounter. Hey everybody, I'm Richard Johnson. I'm Jeremiah Hunt. And this is Music is Business. What is this? In today's podcast, we're going to be talking about playing gigs for free. Ooh. That's that's right. <laughs> I'm sure everyone in the audience said, for free? <laughs> How can we get you guys? I didn't say we'd be playing for free. I said playing a gig for free, right? And what situations may that be good and may it be bad? Uh, Let's start off with, have you ever played a gig for free? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay, and what was the situation or the reasons? I I can't really remember the specific gigs that I've done for free, but I know when I first moved to Chicago, because of the situation that I was in, uh, I don't, I didn't know anybody, you know, I didn't have any leverage for anything, even though I knew I could play and I was a good bass player, but I just didn't have any connections. So a lot of the times, um, you know, it, whether it's people taking advantage of you to uh, get what they want and they'll offer you something else besides money, free food, exposure, whatever. You know, a lot of those situations I just, I took just because I didn't know any better. Okay. Okay. That's a very valid response. Uh, myself, I I can't remember when I'm sure I have, but I know I've done benefits, hmm. um, benefits for certain causes. And that was, for free or in lieu of. Um, I've also shown up. <laughs> it's a funny story. I showed up to a gig. I wasn't on the gig. I went to see another piano player. And that piano player didn't show up for the gig. So after the third song, the band leader knew I played and asked me to play. Hmm. So at that point, half the set was over. Hmm. So I played the last three tunes, and I didn't get paid. (laughs) So in your mind, was I on the gig, or was it a gig for free? In my mind, it was a gig for free. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, that's what it ended up being. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, I don't think if I was the leader, I I probably would have paid uh, something. something. Yeah. Yeah. But it ended up being for free. And, and I, it didn't bother me because I didn't go with the intentions of being paid. I went to see the piano player mm-hmm. and then the cat just didn't show up. Right. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I guess I get to play. OK. Right. So it ended up being cool. Um, there's that situation. But in general, most people are probably out there saying, you never do a gig for free. If you start that, you'll never recover from that. Mm. I don't completely agree with that. Mm. Um, and yes, this is a music business podcast and I'm about the business, mm. right? So if that part of that is getting um, paid for it, I think that's that's important. But there are situations where you may want to offer your services, but it has to be done in a way where people aren't taking advantage of you. Right. And if it's not done that way, then it could damage your reputation. Um, One of the things I wanted to talk a little bit about is this term remuneration. All right. If you haven't heard of that, you should know what it is. Because it's in a lot of legal contracts. I remember when I was working in the Middle East, uh, the hotel would always put this in the contract with musicians. And at first I would say, why didn't they just say fee Mm. or the amount? Are they just trying to trick the musician (laughs) or, you know, but I realized, no, that definitely wasn't their purpose. But that was a word that's very common outside of the music business. So when you have people who are helping or giving opportunities to musicians who don't know 
the lingo outside, you'll be thrown for a loop. Hmm. So the definition of this word is, is the total compensation received by an employee. It includes not only base salary, but any bonuses, commission payments, overtime pay, or other financial benefits that an employee receives from an employer. Okay. I think very, very, very critical Mm. um, for a person to understand this. Sounds like something that would go into a contract. (laughs) Yes, it it does sound like something that would go into a contract. But when you really break it down, it's basically saying it's compensation or reward or a gift or money for something that it says employee here. We can replace that with musician. Mm Mm-hmm. Right. That would take in lieu for a musician, we could say in place of a fee or a salary or any bonuses, commission payments, overtime pay or other financial benefits. All right. So even though that sounds technical for the average musician out there, what that basically means is the money you're getting, any bonuses, food T-shirts, recording, Mm. parking, tickets, overtime pay. That's what it is. If you got to play longer, Mm. more money because you played longer. Mm. If you can do it, if you don't have another gig or other financial benefits, what could that be? Another gig. Mm. Financial benefit. The benefit of this gig is you get another gig. Mm. Yeah. (laughs) All right. A lot of people don't think that way when they think of performances. But when you play in places like restaurants or venues that have continuous music in different bands, a benefit of doing a great job, whether you like it or not, is getting another gig. (laughs) It's a benefit because it's not required. Right. They can hire you once and be like, thank you. Peace out. Never again. Mm -hmm. Right. But if they ask you to come back, that's a good sign yeah. for you and for them because mm. now you've established a relationship. All right. So this word, this definition is important for everyone to know because you're going to see it. It's not to dupe you, but it's so that you understand every place is not going to want to play you um, dollars or pesos or euros or whatever it is. Right. We all want those things, but you may have to come to an agreement. Right. You may say, OK, um, I want two thousand dollars for the gig. And the club says we'll give you fifteen hundred and everybody in the band eats free. Some people will say, no, I want the two thousand. OK. Someone else may say, OK, that's great. I would probably say, can they eat free for the next month? then it's worth it right (laughs) right because whenever i'm hungry and i'm in town guess where i'm going right (laughs) right so it's a negotiation what what is that they're trying to give you in lieu of that financial gain that 500 dollars right Mm. and you never know you may say oh they'll never do that you never know yeah They may have excess food at the end of the night that they have to throw away. Mm. Lots of restaurants have that. Mm -hmm. Lots of times they have specials, meals prepared. They can't give away. Mm -hmm. So that's just an example. It doesn't have to be that. I just like food examples. So (laughs) (laughs) I'm using food, but it could be something else. It could be parking. Mm -hmm. If you live in a major city like Chicago Mm -hmm. and for instance, there's a street here called uh, Hubbard Street. Yep. There's several clubs and restaurants on Hubbard. I remember um, during the pandemic, there was a parking lot that was there and the prices went down. But um, I made a deal with them where if I was going to Andy's to play, I could park there. But if I was going somewhere else, I could also park there for a reduced fee. Hmm. So for me, it works out 
best because now I don't have to worry about parking if it's Thursday, Friday, Saturday night and it's crazy. Mm. Now, if they were filled up and I got there, they would let me know. Or if the prices went up for a special event, okay, that was a special situation. Mm. But if it was a regular, I don't know, Wednesday or Thursday, it works to their benefit that I park, park there and it works better for me knowing I don't have to drive around and waste my gas to park. Exactly. Right. So you have to really think about what free is. It, some people think free is just the financial part of it. Mm-hmm. It's not just that. There's other things that could be in lieu of that. In place of that, that could benefit you. Mm-hmm. Right. So it's not always bad. Now, don't get it twisted and think he's saying we need to play for free. I, that's not what I said. <laughs> I said you just need to be aware of your options. Right. What is around where you're playing? Most people don't even think that far. Uh, Just give me the gig, just about the money and be out. Okay, if that's what it is, great. Peace. But don't get mad when you see me pull up and park for free and then go to the restaurant on the other side and eat for free. (laughs) Because that's what people say to me. Where is he going? Where do you go every time? Oh, I went to eat. Oh, how much was it? I didn't pay nothing for it. How would you do that? Hey, I looked on the map. Where's the gig? What's around it? Have I been there before? Are there other bands? You know, that's the work. Mm -hmm. That's where the negotiation comes in. And sometimes the negotiation isn't just with that venue. Mm -hmm. Could be, but there's other options. Yeah. All right. So playing for free isn't your first option. I'm not saying that. Or even your second. But there may be some benefits to it. Yeah. All right. Now, how do you respond to a club who comes to you and they want you to play for free. Cause this is a situation I've had happen. Mm. <clears throat> I've had someone come to me and they say, we've got this new venue opening up. It's amazing. We've got a new piano. We've got back line. We've got these amazing chairs. We've got these lights. It seats a hundred people, right? We're opening. We want you to play the grand opening. It's going to be unbelievable, right? You guys can eat for free. We'll hook up parking. Um, It's going to be amazing. And I kept listening. Mm. And I just kept listening. (laughs) (laughs) And there was no mention of money. Right. Right. What do you do in that situation? I mean, you're going to eat for free. New piano, back line, lots of lights. I need to know. Who is going to be there? As in who? Customers or? It, anyone who's significant that offers any potential for my band to have more opportunities in the future. Okay. So if they say, oh, Hove is coming. Yes. <laughs> yes. <like> right. <laughs> Something like, I, I just need to know, like, who? what is this event? Like, right. what is it? You okay. know what I mean? I, I, it can't just be, okay, free. Okay, that's great. You have a nice spot. Mm-hmm. You have enough money to pay for this, but you can't pay for it. Right, and that's what I was going to bring <laughs> up. I said, that's the first red flag to me. You've told me you got a new piano, right. which is not cheap. Right. New lights, that's not cheap. Right. Can seat 100 people. Lights aren't cheap. My next question would be, do you got a sound man? <laughs> They probably 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 do. do. (laughs) Right. They're probably going to be like, yeah, we've got the best sound team, blah, blah, blah. That's what I'm going to be like. Hmm. So there's obviously some money from somewhere. Yeah. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Right. So that's Mm. I'm adding all this up as they're telling me. And this is a real situation. Yeah. (laughs) Right. Situations. Right. So as they're telling me this, I'm asking them questions like, oh, so what type of size of the group did you have in vision? Oh, well, we were thinking four or five pieces. Okay. Uh, is it a fancy event? Oh, yeah. People are going to be wearing, you know, tuxes. Yeah, okay. Oh, $60 tickets. <laughs> right. tickets huh? Are they selling tickets? <laughs> oh, okay. How much are the entry tickets? Oh, okay. It's 45 blah, blah, blah. Okay. Is there VIP service? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. We have VIP parking and a section. In front. So as they're telling me all this, I'm adding all this up. Yeah. <laughs> right. And the number is going higher and higher. But at the end, they didn't mention anything about money. Wow. You know, and I think it's a, unfortunately, it's a typical situation. And I'm not saying that people are asking musicians to play for free because they do. Mm -hmm. But think about it this way. 
even if you offered a group of five musicians a thousand dollars to play for three hours at an event that has all this new equipment and they're selling tickets for that price and stars are coming. Mm. Why would you be cheap on your music? Mm. I mean, think about it. It's, it's like a conflict of interest. Yeah. You wouldn't see somebody go out and spend $8,000 on a new suit and then go to like a Goodwill and get a belt and some socks. <laughs> <laughs> right? It just doesn't match up. Right. Yeah. Right? It doesn't and I'm not saying it doesn't work. It mm. could, could you don't know. I mean, Goodwill's great. You right. can find a lot of great things. <laughs> yeah. Right? But generally you won't find somebody offer those two services in the same sense. Right. Right? So why would they expect to get high level music without a cost? Mm. Right? So you have to really think about what they're asking of you in comparison in comparison to what they're asking of other people or events or companies at the venue. Right. Yeah. Right. You obviously didn't go cheap on the piano or the lights mm. or trying to get the celebrities there or the tickets or the food or VIP, all these other things. Why are you skimping on this? But like I said earlier, unfortunately, it's it's too common. It, it happens all the time. Mm -hmm. So one of the reasons we want to talk about playing for free is be, not because it's necessarily for free. Right. But if you're playing a gig and it feels like you're playing for free, you're probably in your mind playing for free. <laughs> <laughs> right. So you want to make sure it's a mutual benefit between you and the person you're working for. Yeah. Because if it's not, you're not going to want to go back there. Right. Or the flip side of that is every time they have a big event, <laughs> let's get Jeremiah Hunt. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> right. And you don't want to have that stigma. Right. Because everybody's going to know. Musicians are going to be like, hey, he's over there doing a the gig for some donuts. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> that's, that's not a good way to go. Yeah. Right. So just weigh your options when someone asks you that. And when I say weigh it, I really mean weigh it. I'm literally in my mind weighing how much they're offering other people yeah. <laughs> to make their event happen and wondering why they expect me to give my service at a high level, but not for the same remuneration. Mm. All right. <laughs> Having said that, we are going to close out today. My name's Richard Johnson. I'm Jeremiah Hunt. And this is Music Business. What is this? Thanks for joining us. Send in your comments. We love hearing from you. If you have stories, let us know. We want to hear all about it because it may help your fellow musicians. See you later. Peace. This program is partially supported by a grant from the Illinois Arts Council Agency.